Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten onto the Ibon Hawk and finally gotten out of the Paragus facility. Now, the only place we can go is to Telos. So that's where we're heading. But I wanted to make sure I got a proper lay of the area first. Uh, I did figure out we have a workbench, but not a lab station, which is annoying. I remembered that we did have a lab station, but maybe I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as it is, we're just going to move on and uh, just head to Telos. Again, because that's really the only option we got. Currently locked down and talk to Adden, I guess. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. I thought I did. I guess I didn't. Okay, I'll go check on her then. That was also fuzzy. <laughs> I only just woke up. I apologize. So, now we move on to check on Kreia. This wasn't the right direction. It's the other direction. What? <laughs> that was new. I don't remember that ever happening. Okay. Here we are. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. When you lost your hand, I felt it too. That does not surprise me. Any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. Mm -hmm. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. If I felt the loss of your hand, what would have happened if you had died? I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. More extreme? I felt like my hand was dipped in molten carbonite. Then the sensation you would feel upon my death might be less than that, though much quicker. Would it have been lethal? Possibly, yes. And I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. Joy. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> That's a bit smart assy. <laughs> but at your age, you could die at any moment, especially considering the way you act. Jeez. Okay. Then we'll work together and try to be careful until we can fix this. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. Mm. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. Interesting. Does our connection have any advantages? It seems the Force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the Force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. Hmm. Uh, you and Kreia possess the Force Chain special ability. When either of you uses a Force power on yourself, the other gains the benefit as well. A powerful technique indeed. Though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. True. Uh, I guess all of these are questions I should ask. Uh, when we were on Paragus, I could feel the Force again. Indeed. And was it the same as before? It was like a whisper at the edge of hearing. If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. Wait. The Jedi did this to me? What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? 
But to cut one off from the Force, it's like losing all of your senses at once. Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own and exiled them as they did you. Whoa, <laughs> that's a very dark side answer. Then there must be a way to reverse what they did. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. But the Force, I can feel it again, if only slightly. Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, train you to feel the Force again. And if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. <laughs> That's a little dismissive. That is... I'm not sure if I would say that dark side, but that's basically saying outright no. I will honor whatever training you wish to give me. Do not honor me, fallen Jedi. Honor it by listening and learning. Do that, and perhaps we shall survive this thing, you and I. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. Hmm. That is dark side. That's dark side. That's just outright no. I would welcome whatever aid you offer. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. Okay. There were other questions I wished to ask you. Ask, and I will answer. Good. Can you tell me what has happened since the Mandalorian Wars? Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. What happened after the war? As you know, Revan and Malak went to war against the Mandalorians and you followed under Revan's banner. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. And that was the Jedi Civil War. Revan and Malak, and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a dark side answer. That just goes to different questions. How were Malak and the Sith defeated? As all Sith do, without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. But what happened to Revan? After defeating Malak, Revan left the Republic, and there are none who know where he has gone. It is said that the Sith remnants turned on themselves after Revan defeated Malak, reducing Korriban to ruin as the Republic still bleeds and struggles for life. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. Hmm. Revan turned against Malak for the sake of the Republic. It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. That's a dark side answer. That's kind of ambivalent and. Huh. 
Hmm. Then we must do what we can until it has a chance to recover from the war. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves, or find themselves lacking. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. Perhaps it is better the Republic stands on its own. We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless. The Republic's was not. Fleets of warships, soldiers, and people were lost. Entire planets were decimated. Their inhabitants dead, or refugees. It is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. This threat is directed against me. The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. Interesting. There were other things I wished to ask. Ask, and I will answer. I want to know more about the Sith hunting us. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith since the Jedi Order was first split. There was another Jedi Civil War? Yes. The Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith. But in their hearts, they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it, as Malak did. But these Sith seem... different. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. I've never seen Sith assassins like those on the Harbinger. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near Force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. I see. So it's my connection to the Force and how strong it is that's allowing them to track me. All right. I think I've heard enough. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. Atten isn't so bad, just 
Well, maybe he is. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. Okay. Interesting. Got light side points and influence gained. Didn't expect that. Okay. Well, now that that's done, maybe we're uh, able to head to Telos. Yep, locked down, of course. How's our passenger? She's still aging? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> she seems fine, just needs some rest. Well, she sure could use it. It might do wonders for her mood, too. She's lucky she's a Jedi. Or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. I don't know what I expected, but it definitely wasn't that. What? <laughs> hard living? Yeah. Her face looks like it was plowed by crazed Ord Mantell farmers. Don't tell me you were too distracted by her personality to notice. Look, ease off the insults. She was wounded helping us escape, remember? Whoa, all right, all right. Don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? <laughs> I mean, he got a point. Are we still on course for Telos? Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Mm. If you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Oh, so now I can do that? Okay. All right, I'll do that. So, what happened? What are you talking about? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Exiles aren't allowed to keep their lightsabers. Oh, yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. I don't know about married. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? It was a single hilt. Huh. Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Hmm. Both the blade and crystal were unique. Yeah? Unique how? Ah, there's my favorite. It was a Viridian blade, one the Jedi Order had never seen before. Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. There was purple and orange there too, which aren't, aren't bad, but I always like my Viridian. Viridian is just a wonderful color. Green, silver, it just it's looked great. It looks great. I love it. I think having it would just drive them to hunt me harder. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. I heard you the first time. Light side. More light side points. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, and galaxy map. Now I can touch this thing. Paragus. <laughs> Let's go back to Pruhagas. Location inaccessible. Status facility destroyed. Oh, they know that. Okay. And I can... <laughs> you were already at that location. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to try it. I had to try them. Okay. Uh. Excuse me. I didn't expect a yawn. All right. Telos, Citadel Station. That... Oh, that must be what the station looks like from orbit. Okay. I thought something was broken <laughs> for a second. No, that's just what the station looks like. Alright, that makes sense. Looks smaller in this FMV, though. And 
and ta-da. Okay. They think we caused the explosion? Uh, yeah, that's entirely possible. Party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm yeah, okay. Lieutenant Brent, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Ah, crap. How long will this take? Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. Of course. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Uh, Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. Oh, come on. Will I be able to get my gear back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. Good. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Uh, I could just do that, but that's that's not a good idea. <sighs> Why are you holding us? Because this vessel and its passengers are connected with the destruction of a fuel mining facility, one that this station depends upon. We would like to find out the extent of your involvement. Okay. Now I understand. I'll cooperate. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. Not quite. House arrest. Not necessarily the same thing. Oh, hello? You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. Okay, I guess we are in jail first. <laughs> ah, crap. Sorry, Atten. <laughs> Wait, I had some questions. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Oh. Busting my balls here, Lieutenant. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Yeah, might as well. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Well, I could go this route. You're wrong. I'm no Jedi. Jedi or no, you're the one I am pledged to kill. There is no mistaking that. The Exchange is a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taken the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Well, Atten may have inadvertently made it, so we're going to die anyway. Great. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Atten. I mean, he had some points, but still. Uh, we're in a TSF station. How do you expect to get away with this? The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Your body staying right here is a very dark sidey sort of answer. I guess this is kind of ambivalent, and I don't wish to fight you is 
kind of light side. Uh, let's get this over with. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone. You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and he shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match for my skills. Yeah, you'd say that now, wouldn't you? Hey, level ups. Nice. And... It's done. Oh, that didn't work out. It's not the way I hoped, but oh well. Haha. -ha. <laughs> the security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. That's on, fair. Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Batu Rem? Um, hmm. None of these are really dark sidey, but they are sarcastic, so they are up my alley. <laughs> uh, no, he was an assassin. It's a good thing I didn't have to depend on you for protection. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. I'm glad someone noticed that only after he tried to kill me. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragus matters. There's the house arrest. You'll be okay. under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Great. Another investigation. Officer, got Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. Okay. At least we're not in a jail cell anymore. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? It's worth a shot. How long will I be here? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragus facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this okay. is a step up from a force cage, at least. True. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. Okay. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Why do we need to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. What do you think, Kraya? We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. And we go take a rest. We both meditate. Okay. All right. Sokalinu TSF officer. Okay, let's accept the call. Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Athorian Planet Restoration Interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. What does he want? He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. I don't recognize that name either. Fine, send him in. Very well. I'll let him in now. Thank you for seeing me. I am Moza, and I've come to see you on behalf of Chodo Habat, our leader here. Why didn't he come himself? As our leader, he has many tasks before him, and regrets that he could not come himself. The healing of this planet... But the bah, that skipped a step and I didn't press any buttons. That was weird. 
He means no offense by sending me, his chief assistant. Oh, you were able to read the subtitles probably faster than I could say it. What does Chodo want with me? Are you familiar with the restoration project on Telos? For the sake of everyone, I'll just go no. Could you explain it to me? The surface of Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War a few years ago. This, Citadel Station, is part of the Republic restoration effort. Citadel Station uses energy fields to seal off portions of the planet's surface. Okay, th I can't... I can't talk fast enough to do these. <laughs> I apologize, you're all going to have to frickin' do the subtitles. Because I can't read fast enough. It's just blowing through them and I'm not hitting any buttons. I swear, my other hand is completely off the button. I only have control of the directional stick and that's it. I have no idea why it's doing that. Recently, however, we have come into contention with the corporation known as Zerka. Uh, I don't know what troubles you have, but I know the name. Thorians are well known as ecologists and agricultural engineers. The Lothian government asked one of... Okay, alright. There's no way... There's no way. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. It's blowing so fast. I mean, I... <laughs> it makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. That it's going so fast. I mean, yes, most people can probably read all of this in the time that it takes. But I can't speak it that fast. <sighs> this is basically ruining... <laughs> this is basically ruining everything involved with... <laughs> how I usually do things. I could just shorthand it. I could probably just shorthand it. But... It'll probably involve a lot of swearing. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. Let's try it. How is Zerka harming the restoration product? They, they took a lot of control from, the, uh, from us for the restoration zones. If it continues, it'll be brought to a halt because they ain't going to do anything about it. We have no funding to resurrect it even further, so Telos will just die. <laughs> just... <laughs> this is what I'm forced to do. <laughs> Why would Zerka do this? I wonder myself, because they're weapons manufacturers. Why the hell would they want anything to do with this? Oh, this one lets me talk long enough I could probably do the whole sentence? Perhaps they seek just the resources on Telos, which is normally forbidden otherwise. <laughs> ah, just fucking, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is what I'm reduced to. <laughs> I'm hoping this doesn't happen with any of the Huddy's speakers, because, like, I mean, my gods. So how did they take the restoration zones? A combination of legal loopholes, purchase political favors, strong-arm tactics, and sabotage. That one let me read? The Thorians are just not prepared to deal with that. We're passive. We only wish to restore the natural beauty. We're tree huggers, man. <laughs> So, how could I help? Chota Habad is powerful, our spiritual leader. He sent something on your arrival, a disturbance, an echo in the force. Felt you might be able to help us. We bid him, he bid me, that if you could help heal Telos, it may be possible for him to heal you. Heal me? I'm unclear as to what Chota means by this. He says the echo he felt upon your arrival suggests that you, are, you yourself are damaged. He can feel the pain through the force. That's weird. Perhaps Shoda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people 
if they truly suffer so. Forgive me, I'm unclear as to his message and I may have relayed it incorrectly. If his offer of mutual aid interests you, please go to the Euthorian compound here in the residential area when you're able. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll consider it. I do hope so. Farewell. Alright. That one I sped through because that one was easy. Now I apologize for earlier. Able to rest uninterrupted. Well, here's hoping. <laughs> oh, great. More of them. Well, here's hoping these ones speak English. <laughs> or at least a language that can be understood. <laughs> so that way I don't have to try and translate it for the audience. Okay, give me a second. I'm stretching out my knee because I'm old person. <laughs> Mm, I'm so old. Okay. B4, D4, Circuit Corporation. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation, Citadel Station Branch. Okay. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? What does she want? I am sorry, but I do not know. I am only her Administrative Assistant. May I put you through? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Okay. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. I think it pronounced your name differently, but yeah, okay. I understand that Why you were approached by an Athorian earlier. Yeah. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. I don't recall him threatening me. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the exchange to you if you work with them. No, he didn't mention anything like that. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. Go on. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, mm -hmm. please visit our offices here at Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Okay. How are the Athorians in the way of things? Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. What kind of work are we talking about? I'd rather discuss that in person. Of course. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. Sure. I guess I'll come by when I can. Give him a listen. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation. I hope to see you shortly. Yeah, we messy. To bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. No, you're right. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well... Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. 
It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I mean, I am technically right there, but fair point. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. Why is the Republic sending a ship? To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. How long will I have to stay? The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. Is the Eban Hawk still impounded? The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. What about my T3 droid? After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Okay. I think that answers plenty. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. You know that from experience? Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. I mean... What do you think, Kreia? It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason. But we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Hmm. Huh. That's a question. But... If... Hmm. Stay or explore Telos. We need a ship. Let's find the Ebon Hawk. Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. All right. And now we can do the leveling up. That's the wrong button for that. <laughs> and oh, I'm already light sighting it. Cool. Up the strength. There we go. Skills. Pooter use. And persuade. Actually. Do a little security too. There we go. 10, 11, 10, 11. And awareness is at 2 because, eh. <laughs> Don't really need it that badly. Okay. Mm, yeah, I think, I think that's good. And powers, what should I do for powers? That's a good question. <laughs> hmm. A lot of these are dark side powers. Throw a lightsaber. I don't even have a lightsaber, so that would not really be useful. Mine. At this point, I guess the remaining ones would really just be other universal powers that are just buffs. Hmm. I can learn battle meditation now? Okay, that's interesting. Plus two to attack rolls, plus two to damage, and plus two to will saves. Also increases the vitality point regeneration of the entire party. The effect only lasts 20 seconds and will not affect any droids in the party. Well, hey, that's still something. Might as well do that. 
I don't see why not. And now we do Kreia. Huh, her bar hasn't moved at all. Weird. Skills. Mm -hmm. Let's do Treat Injury, Repair, Awareness. Yeah, there we go. That should be good. Powers. Um, hmm. It's kind of straddling the line to the point that I think it's okay if we teach her for dark side powers. But stun is still useful. Not extremely useful, but it's useful. Um, hmm. Battle meditation, it is restricted by armor. Damn. Force barrier. Is it improved. Yeah, no, all of it just protects the Jedi. But there is the Force Chain thing. That would help. Okay. Alright. And I'm a higher level than the other two. I notice Atten is higher on the bar than Kreia is. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, we're over time for the episode anyway, so it's time to end. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments that can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games, and I guess having to sit here for the entire investigation took up most of the episode, but... We at least have two avenues to follow now that we're allowed free reign around the uh, Telos station. And uh, I guess we will decide which one we want to go with. But considering where my bar is already sitting, I think y'all know which way I'm going to be going. So I guess we see the Athorians next episode for you.